good morning from Cape Town. Angela Collins here from Angela Collins Yachts. And this morning I'm listing my favorite little boat, the Mura 30. It's nothing to beat them. Welcome to our exploration of the iconic Mura yacht. A remarkable vessel designed in the early 1980s by Oswald Birkemeyer a talented German naval architect living right here in South Africa. Around 250 mirrors were built by Nibi boats in Cape Town, making this design not just popular, but a true representation of South African sailing craftsmanship. The primary purpose behind the mirrors design was to provide a more affordable option for sailors competing in the transatlantic Cape to Rio race, an annual event known for its challenging conditions. Berke Mayer took into account the difficult sailing conditions along the South African coastline, ensuring the Mura was built to withstand these challenges. Designed according to international offshore rules, the Mura aimed for the best possible handicap rating, showcasing its racing pedigree. But it's not just a racing yacht. The Mura has become a safe cruising boat, with many successfully circumnavigating the globe. Its stability and seaworthiness make it an excellent choice for first-time yacht owners, allowing newcomers to enjoy the thrill of sailing with confidence. The Miura carries a large headsail and a smaller mainsail, which not only makes handling the sails easier, but also improves stability on the water. Additionally, the Traveller is conveniently situated midway in the cockpit. This design allows you to operate the Traveller from your position at the tiller, making it easy to sail single-handed. Whether racing or cruising, the Mura remains a beloved choice among sailors, proving that great design can stand the test of time. One of the standout features of the Mura is its rounded hull, which not only contributes to its unique aesthetic, but also provides more interior space. The galley is on the port side. That white table can lift up and be attached against the bulkhead. The nav station is on the starboard side. When the table is folded up, there is a lot of space in the saloon. Moving forward, there's the mast, and into the forepeak, there the heads are on the port side, and there's a double V, v berth in the forepeak. Your hanging locker and looking aft. You have also a, a quarter berth and a single berth aft.
If you would like to view this vessel with me, please give me a call or drop me an email. Thank you for watching.